Well, something caught our eye recently and it prompted us to do a little bit of investigating. Storefront mannequins at a particular clothing store for teenage girls looked unusually skinny. So we wondered if there's any correlation between those mannequins and how a young woman maybe feels about her body size. Here's what NBC7's Megan Tavrizian found out. The fashion world is known for using skinny models, but is this going too far? Someone with that kind of body type would be underweight. They could have endocrine disturbances. They could have brain chemistry changes as, the, as a result of poor attrition. Dr. George Pratt is a clinical psychologist at Scripps. He says women in college spend almost a quarter of the time thinking about their weight, and images like this don't help. Average woman in America is 5'4 and 140 pounds. The average model is 5'11 and 117 pounds. So what is being offered as a role model in the magazines, etc., is not realistic. Many mannequins are made in China, but we found a manufacturer in Southern California and asked them if there's any regulations when it comes to sculpting mannequins. David Naranjo, the VP creative of Greniker, says no. The standard mannequin is a size four. David admits that they can look too thin and unhealthy sometimes. That's one of the reasons he started designing fit and plus size mannequins instead. I think it'd be really cool to see like a variety of body shapes because that's how the world is. I mean, why not kind of show what there is? We reached out to Closet repeatedly. There are eight closet stores in San Diego County. They wouldn't comment on their mannequin size and told us they don't intend on substituting them for bigger ones anytime soon. It, it kind of makes me feel like if if those clothes are meant for them, then I have to be that way to wear them. Dr. Pratt doesn't think images like this will disappear either. So it's important, he says, to change your mindset. What we want people to do is to learn to love and like themselves and to appreciate themselves and not go around thinking negatively about themselves. Dr. Pratt doesn't think images like this will disappear either. So it's important, he says, to change your mindset. Megan Tavrizian, NBC7. Uh, Dr. Pratt has a, well, he has a few suggestions on how to stay positive about your body image. Simple things like giving yourself five compliments a day and also writing down five things that you're grateful for every morning. This, he says, will help change the way you think about yourself and the world.